It is time for the latest Yankees Hot Stove here on YesNetwork.com. Great to have you with us, Bob Lorenz, Jack Curry, and John Flaherty. So here's where we're at as of the moment in terms of shortstop, the Yankees signing Troy Tulowitzki. It'll be a major league minimum deal with the Blue Jays picking up the tab for the rest of it this year. What do you think of the move? I think it's a smart, no-risk move for the Yankees because, as you said, Bob, all they have to pay this guy is the major league minimum. So if he comes to spring training and he can perform, the Yankees have someone to fill in at shortstop for D.D. Gregorio. We know the Manny Machado situation is still pending, and I think the Yankees see him as a third baseman anyway. But with Tulowitzki, you're, play you're playing with the Toronto Blue Jays' money. I remember at the winter meetings, I was surprised that they thought it was a good idea to just eat $38 million. But the Yankees scouted him. They thought he looked loose. They thought he looked athletic. And now they give it a shot and see if he can be a semblance of the player he has been in his career. Well, the one thing that shocks me is everybody's talking about this move like Troy Tulowitzki is going to play shortstop for maybe four months until Didi Gregorius comes back. This guy hasn't been healthy in two years, missed all of last year. So I'm kind of surprised at all the optimism about this. But I think even if he's not your everyday shortstop for, say, maybe four months, can he be a nice role player for the Yankees? Can he play third? I don't know about playing second base, but there's a place for him on this team. You just don't know if he's going to stay healthy enough to play every day. And you're trusting the eyes of your scouts who went out to Long Beach State, saw his workout. They said the bat looked good the footwork and short look good. Meantime, everybody loves Machado. Well, I wouldn't say everybody loves him because there only been one formal offer reportedly from the White Sox. Phillies are still in, supposedly the Yankees, and you just wonder how long it's going to take for him to sort of sift th through things. And does he see a fit now with the Yankees with Tulowitzki aboard? You would think he still would. Yeah, I don't think that Tulowitzki impacts what the Yankees may potentially do with Machado. This is a guy you're getting on the minimum salary. Machado, obviously, the elite of the elite. And I think you put it properly right now, Bob. I think Machado has fielded offers from teams. I think Dan Lozano, his agent, is looking at those offers. They're trying to find out what the best fit is. I've always thought that if Machado ends up with the Yankees, it's going to be under the Yankees terms, the Yankees parameters. Remember, heading into the offseason, a lot of folks thought Manny Machado, 10 years, 300 plus million. I've never thought, and from the people I've spoken to, that's why I've never thought it, I've never thought the Yankees were going near those terms. It feels like Machado's getting close to making a decision, right? I mean, I agree with you. I don't think this Tulowitzki deal affects what the Yankees are thinking or Machado. It doesn't affect him at all. But you wonder if he starts thinking now, I've gotten all of my offers. I know what's out there. Now it's time for him to make a decision. How important is it to Manny Machado to play for the Yankees, to play for a team that's ready to win now? Is he willing to leave money out on the table to come play for the Yankees? That's the million-dollar question. Multi-300 multi million. million. Not to say, <laughs> more than a million. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for now. Keep up with Yes's social media feeds for breaking news regarding the Yankees and make sure to check your listings for airtimes of the latest Yankees hot stove, which features Jack breaking down his Hall of Fame ballot for the class of 2019. Take care.